So, uh, we're going to talk about, like, how we think America's um, school, school system could be changed, or any other country's school, school system is changed. Um, but this is mainly for, like, America. Uh, so I want to start off with, like, with my thoughts on school, on high school mainly. I think they should have school... Kindergarten through, let's say, ninth grade, and then the next 10th, 11th, 12th, those three years should just be fully developed, fully devoted to just finding your interest. Uh, that's all high school really is. You don't, I don't really learn anything in high school, really. Like, I'll learn pointless stuff I don't really need to know, but I've always wanted to try to find an interest. So what I think they, sh they should do, they should have separate high school that you could go to uh, where you don't have to pay though so say like you go to you go to this this certain school to go in the medical field and you will learn about the medical field and then you will take uh, a test these are saying and then like and like there's another one for like engineering and then like another yeah. one for like computer science stuff like that yeah yeah so so then you take a test and if you're acceptable then you go B, you have that career. Like, oh, what's like, what's like? So basically, it's like uh, beginning like school to college. Yeah, but if you're not accepted, you can always go to a different school and try out. You know, so you no, no, the, no, that's where I my disagree. Because look, like in my because like, like college, you have to be accepted. But high school, you do when you go to whichever you, one you want to learn or you want to know more about. That way, you can go to a college about it. Yeah, but you have to call. You have to pay someone for college. And it's just like I don't, I don't. I don't think it's fair. And in college, you still try to find your interests. In no, college. but like that's what. No, but look, like, like that's what I'm saying. Like, cause like, uh, if you want to learn something, then why should you have to be accepted into the high school for it? You want to learn but, it. But rephrase your question. I, I don't understand. Cause you said like, am I? You need to be accepted into the high school. Like, cause like how there's different high schools. You said you have to be accepted into one. No, 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 no. no. You go to that high school to learn about it, and then you take a test, and then you're accepted to go and move on to college. Oh, so okay, like, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All right. Yeah. So they see the reason why you have to pay to college is because so many there's so much competition out there. They want you to pay, so they're just they're filtering out all the kids that can't pay and you can't afford yeah. it. To go into college, Roger, which I just don't disagree with. College is so expensive, and it's it's not fair. So, I mean, I don't think it, they could really pull it off because it would probably change the whole economy with the school system being changed. It would change everything if that the school system. But I just think that's how it should have started off, and I just think it would be better that way. Just like that, but, like like how like my, there are a lot of my smart people and stuff that like can get into a college and stuff. Like they like I know they like might give scholarships and stuff like that so that I mean, even if you are too poor they'll pay for it for you so you can get in. But what if they don't give you scholarship but you really are smart and like you're really good at whatever the college is for like the whatever it is. Yeah, so that's another problem. It's uh, high school. You take all these classes and say you have weaknesses in these classes. Then why are you still in these classes? Once? Say you're bad at English. Then why would you keep doing English? And throughout whole high school, why can't you just drop that class? Say you're good at math and have math-related classes. It's all math-related classes. Just like that. Yeah. This is something else I think is stupid. Like I'm like my for like something else. I mean, like you'll see what I'm saying. So like uh, when you go to college, like certain people like go to like a certain college because like, uh, what they want to do as a career. So like, crap. Like an example. Uh, crap. What was it? Certain schools are, oh yeah, like Harvard, they like my, known for like, my law and stuff, like lawyers and stuff like that. So if you want to be a lawyer, then my, you go there, and like my, you like, learn stuff like that, like whatever you need to learn for to be a lawyer. And like, not like, this is the best one I can think of, like computer science, like what I want to do. You go to a school and just learn about computer science and stuff, everything about it. Everything yeah. about computers and stuff. But a lot of people, like my law colleges, like four year colleges, you have to take English and math and social studies and stuff still. Yeah, just so stupid. 
Like if like if you want to go to college just because you don't know what you want to do yet, you just want to go to a normal college and you want to take all those classes, just for a normal college, it's different. But like if you want to just learn something like that, like computer science, then you go just for computer science. What are you going to do when the comedy breaks down and they don't need computer science, though? What are you going to do then? The comedy breaks yeah. down? Dude. Like, if the economy goes down, like, you don't know, like, what could happen, dude. Like, you've got to, like, do... you got to be smart with that. Dude, like, the new world's going to be based off of computers. Okay, yeah, the new world is going to be based off of computers, but you got to think about it, dude. The economy, is, the economy is so bad. Like, what do you... Like, you never know. Like, you can do computer science, but that doesn't mean you're going to automatically be able to excel in that and be able to just do everything. I mean, you got to work your way up. And, like, I'm sure there's, like, so many other things. Like, I think that's actually, I mean, maybe it's not a good idea to, like, go to an extent, like, what they're doing. But, I mean, like, maybe, like, giving you a few extra classes on that. Maybe, like, trying to give you, like, an idea of, like, if it could go wrong. I mean, just because you take computer science doesn't mean you're going to, for sure, no matter what, get that specific job. I know I am, though. Step up. I mean, I'm just saying. I know. I know what you're saying. I was messing around. Well, you got to agree, though. High school, all it is is finding your interest. You yeah. don't really learn anything. I don't learn anything in high school. I, I learn more on YouTube than in school. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the it truth. Really Just like that, even my math teacher, they teach us yeah. stuff that we never use. Well, you, like yeah. in my daily life, like language, like I understand, understand why they teach us that stuff because like do you do a job with it or something. But like even my, like, no, even my own math teacher this year said, most of everything that, you, that you're going to learn uh, this year and then all through high school in math, you're not going to use. So why did we learn it? Yeah, so I mean, I think they need to uh, they need to focus more on finding our interests. And if we whatever we're interested in, then we go to a different we go shift off to a different school and learn all about that, and then take a test, and then they see if you're good or not, and then you move on to college, which is you don't have to pay. Yeah. If you're not good for it, then they send you back and you go find a different interest or something. But, that that would never work out because it would just change the whole country. But let's just let's just step down a little bit and just talk about like the food and stuff in high school. Like not good. Food sucks in high school. Food sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's I, a new topic. I'm, I'm not Why even the food sucks? Like everybody in my high school, my school talks about how bad the food sucks. Like they said, like like in my middle school, like I'm, I'm just not. Like echo. Yeah, like I'm just now getting out of middle school and I'm gonna be a freshman this year. And like I think the middle school food is so bad. It sucks so bad. Like sometimes they would seriously just put macaroni on your plate and that would be like the main course. It was horrible. And then you got the people that are actually in high school saying that they wish they could go back to middle school food. Like what the fuck? Like really? Yeah. You just can't get decent food. That's so true, though. It's like, like dude, how was like, that food good? And then, like, the paying for your lunch, that, that is such bullshit. bullshit. Like, why, why should I have to pay to put food in my body? body? That crappy food, too. Yeah, yeah really. Like, your food fucking sucks, dude. Like, the school food sucks, but I'm not one of the guys that bring their lunch either, though. I think our I think our grading scale should be changed, too. You think they the just changed it? They just did change that not too long ago. It's either it just should be pass or fail. That's what Chinese people do. Not Chinese people. A lot of countries just have either pass or fail. They don't have A, B, C, D. You know, either pass or fail. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You know, like a uh, like crap. My I can't remember what countries exactly, but like I know like Amsterdam, like Iceland and stuff. I think Germany does too. And, uh, yeah. It's basically the same as like how we get A, B, C, D and stuff. It's that theirs is like numbers, like a ten is like an A plus, like a nine, I'm like an eight and nine is like an my, it's like a A, and then like five and a half and stuff like that. It's all like different things. Some people's grading skills are easier. Like they'll have forty to fifty percent is like an F, uh, fifty one to sixty something percent is like a D. And then sixty to seven percent, seventy percent like a C, and then uh, like A is like eighty to hundred. Okay, you know something I like though. I just thought of something. Basically, now they're barely failing anyone on an entire like grade. Like they're barely gonna hold anyone back. 
And even if they want to hold someone back, they still have to get the parents' permission now. So I yeah. like that, because, like, I'm not like, because of how it used to be, like, you'll try really hard and, like, and stuff, and then, like, you'll fail and you have to repeat it even though you tried. But he likes to say that you're stupid, I mean. <laughs> and you really Dude, tried. You, know what, you know what I learned? What? That you can't get held back more than two years in middle school. Like, no matter what, I no matter how that. stupid you are, they have to pass you. Yeah, I can believe that. In high school, did, did you know Eminem got held in my back and as a freshman? Uh, as a freshman, three times. Yeah, three times. He my he was a seventeen year old I and mean, freshman year, so he just my like, quit high school. Like uh, in middle school, like you can only be held back twice, and after that they pass you no matter what because they don't want like, like sixteen, seventeen year old kids in middle school beating with, the like, crap out of the little kids. No, like 16, 17 year old grown boys, like in a school with like 12 year old girls and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, so, like they, they, they force them through. Like, they force them to high school. No matter how stupid they are. You know I think mainly. Hey, you know what I found out? There's a new law in all of, like, the U.S. Am I? This actually happened in Indiana, though. Uh, the backlight on every bus, like, the backlight, like, on the bus, like, Inside the bus, I mean. Yeah, yeah. It has to be on now because, like, a girl in Indiana, like, my, got raped by, like, high schoolers, like, in the back of the bus. It was all dark and stuff. They were, like, coming back from a football game or something. All right. So, we are being too serious. <laughs> uh, United Idiots. <laughs> hey, hey, this is an Idiots Unite episode. Uh, we aren't being idiots right now. We are being very intelligent. Like pe People are, like, just not meaning the intelligent side of us. Yeah. Like, all, all they saying is, like, I'm gonna fuck your wife and shit. Don't you know what? Know hey, what? guys, you know what else they're saying? Like, you know what else like they're surprised. saying now? Huh? You know what else they're saying now? My awesome hair. Oh my god. <laughs>